Good evening, guys. Yeah, a lot of understandably concerned parents here tonight. The police chief was here as well and tells us that teacher is currently being detained at a medical facility, though we don't know which one. The chief also telling us from his perspective this investigation was delayed because his team could have been called in sooner. We're very fortunate to get that charge. I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm very, very fortunate to be able to get that charge um, with the little information that we got. East Chicago Police Chief Jose Rivera speaking out tonight at the City Library about a felony intimidation charge now filed against a St. Stanislaus teacher. Why didn't we go look for the teacher at that moment? Well, at that moment, we never got to interview the teacher. All we were going based on was third party information. It was a student heard something that told a counselor, that told the principal, that told the police. That's not enough to go to arrest somebody in the state of Indiana. We're told officers weren't called over to the 1400 block of Indianapolis Boulevard until around 5 o'clock Wednesday, but it was several hours earlier before 1 o'clock that a fifth grader raised an alarm, which was brought to the attention of the school's top tier staff. They were advised by the principal was that <coughs> the fifth grade teacher did make threats or advised a student that there was a kill list and that she wanted to do harm to herself, staff, and students to include the child that she was speaking to. Um, and basically stated that that child was also on the list. That list had been allegedly made by a 25-year-old teacher identified as Angelica Carasquillo Torres. We don't know who's on the list. We don't have it. Never provided the list. Yeah, the list was never provided to anybody. It was never provided. Oh, okay. Yeah, it could have been a mental list, too. We don't know. According to court documents, when asked by the principal about why she'd allegedly made a kill list, Carasquillo Torres replied, I'm having trouble with my mental health, and sometimes the kids do not listen in the classroom. I also have trauma caused when I went to high school. And if she had a car, she would be able to fit two dead bodies in the trunk. But police say when they arrived, that teacher was already gone. I do not believe that a true leader would have let somebody walk out the building. Um, she let Angelica Cascarillo Torres walk out the building. The chief saying tonight if they'd been able to interview her, they could have taken her into custody, but she was not detained until the following day. Tonight's meeting was organized by a parent, Alicia De Ando Feliciano. We were lucky to even charge her with this six, level six felony. Why? Because of the hearsay. Okay. That's the issue, and this is why the ball was dropped. And attended by dozens of others, all equally upset by the situation and eager to determine a process going forward to make sure their kids stay safe. Is there a safety plan in place for our kids to return? You know, they. My, I want the kids to be, we want to know that the kids are going to be safe when they go back into our schools. Now, Alicia, who organized tonight's meeting here at the library, says that going forward, parents will be drafting a letter to be sent to the school and to the diocese with a list of demands. Those demands include e-learning for the foreseeable future because a lot of the parents are afraid to send their kids to class. They want more security and more transparency with school officials. And they also want to enact a policy council so the parents would have more say in who is hired and fired at the school. Now, there was nobody from St. Stanislaus at the meeting tonight. We also reached out to the school earlier today for comment and we've yet to hear back. We're live tonight in East Chicago, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.